As computer users become more and more sophisticated, we find that the excuses become more and more sophisticated as well. But there are some basic fallacies that we find the excuses fall into over and over again. One of the most common computer fallacies, especially with respect to younger users, is the computer game fallacy. As more and more users grow up playing computer games, the false assumption is that all computer software is written without errors or written without defects at all, so that whatever the computer allows you to do is okay, just like in a game. There are stringent rules outside of which you're not allowed to operate. Of course, that's a fallacy. Operating under this fallacy, a user may choose to find a program bug or uh, some other weakness and use that to perform an activity which is not at all ethical. But under the fallacy, say, hey, if the computer let me do it, it must be okay. The law-abiding citizen fallacy is similar in some ways in that laws govern our activity both in real life and on the computer. Computer law is still developing, it's still emerging, and it doesn't cover everything. So in addition to the laws, you have to use common sense, and you can't hide behind the fallacy saying, hey, it's not against the law, it must be okay. The shatterproof fallacy is yet another fallacy that basically says, whatever I do is only online. It's not going to hurt anybody else. But in reality, activity that you conduct online may have many other consequences, many of which you may not even consider. For example, what happens if you send out an email bomb? You send out email to thousands and thousands of users. Does it affect anyone? Chances are, yes. The candy from a baby fallacy is another one that states, hey, if it's easy, it must be okay. There are many activities, many of which can be malicious activities, that are very easy to do. It's not hard at all to go find some site that will allow you to write a virus and propagate that virus to many different locations. Just because it's easy doesn't mean it's okay. The hacker's fallacy is yet another fallacy that states everything is okay if your motivation is pure. In other words, if you're just trying to learn about computers and networks and just trying to figure things out for your own benefit, it must be okay. Sorry, that one doesn't fly either. And lastly, the free information fallacy. Information yearns to be free. All information should be shared without restriction. That's the mantra of the free information fallacy proponents. The idea is there really shouldn't be any type of intellectual property law or intellectual property restrictions. If something is out there, whether it be a piece of music or a picture or a speech, you should be able to use it. Again, that's yet another fallacy.